Hi, the African dream. My name is Zankebot. I am made in Sierra Leone. That's the voice of Denkebot, the world's first ever peace robot, created by a young Sierra Leonean innovator and self-taught engineer. The robots are designed to preach peace and raise awareness in Sierra Leone and the world at large. In a time when peace is a scarce commodity in the world, this young genius thought it would be necessary to develop robots that preach peace, unity, and love for all. The African Dream visited this young genius to tell his story on how he managed to pull this off. Went to his residence at Calabar Town in the eastern part of Freetown, Sierra Leone, West Africa. And we met this young genius. Hi, the African Dream. I'm Ibrahim Paris Kodenke. I am an innovator, self-taught engineer, and entrepreneur. Above all, the creator of the peace robot in Sierra Leone. In an interview with the African Dream, we asked Ibrahim Paris Kodenke what inspired his innovation. And this is what he said. As a child when growing up, my ambition was to use technology, address it, um, significant challenges in our community. Denke took his robot to the street of Freetown. They pedaled on the street of Freetown, met with humans and answered questions. No matter where you are from, whether Mende or Tembe, APC or SLPP, we are all one. What is your name? I am Denke Bert. What do you do? Peace. Young innovators like Denke faces a mountain of challenges living and creating in Sierra Leone. Electricity is one of them. Well, I sometimes have the problem of having access to electricity because you and I know for a process or a work like this you need a constant electricity. It's been tough for me, except I have to walk around to my colleague to find where I could get electricity to do my work effectively. Living in a country where modern infrastructural development is not common, Denke had to delve into the junkyards to look for resources. Almost over 60% of the materials he used to build the robot were from the junkyards including this drone remote controller. It's always been tough for me, except I sometimes have to dive into the junkyards to find resources to get things done. It almost took me one year to get this work done. But normally, if um, there was the, the availability of, of materials and and fundings it will only take me three months to do this work according to denke the robots do not only preach peace they can also serve as marketers they are not only disseminating or preaching peace out there in the public you understand they can also they are purposely there for any um, public awareness raising when they come into promoting peace, they can do that. They can, they can serve as marketers also. The financial constraint got it all. Whenever I, I have to implement, I think of or envision a particular idea for it to be getting implemented, except I have to do the, the needful by selling some of my gadgets just to have the money needed to work on that particular innovation. Denke has never set foot in the university. Everything he knows and does came from the internet and his brilliance. But his dream is to study biomedical engineering at MIT. I, I dream big for myself. Dreaming big 
of enhancing my critical thinking into electrical and electronics, specializing on biomedical engineering. Dreaming big to attend all this at my dream university, which is the, the great MIT. Thank you.